I'm Alexis Henry. I'm the Communications Manager for the Surfrider Foundation. Well, the Surfrider mission is to protect our world's oceans, waves, and beaches. And one of the things that's come along with the 25 years the foundation's been around is this edgy kind of punk rocky artsy feel and the design here is amazing and people walk in and are just like oh my god this is what I pictured Surfrider to be when I think of a building where Surfrider's headquarters would be housed this is exactly what I'm thinking of which is really a great thing to have those people who may be familiar with the foundation may not be familiar with the foundation come in and be real taken away by the design and the appearance space is brand new we've been here for almost three years this spring which we're really excited about and it's working out fantastic it's a beautiful space as you can see and when we take you on the tour later you'll really see some of the great features that have earned us a lead gold certification we have taken doors from our existing our previous space and refitted them to sliding barn doors even the the receptionist table right here is also recycled doors and materials we have led lights hanging throughout the building haven't used any coating on the cement floors to keep them much more natural and also the paint is lead free which you know a lot of paints nowadays if they aren't lead free have a ton of toxins in them and this is keeping those toxins out of the environment. Well, one thing we've been able to do is give tours to you know art groups and design students and stuff as far as showing them the sustainable features we've had We've hosted uh, meetings for other groups that are not associated with the Surfrider Foundation, but they're also environmental nonprofit groups. They're able to come in and utilize this space. And you know, just for anyone who's walking in, be it a, a brand partner, an activist, um, chapters, we're able to take them on a tour and really show them the building and how proud we are to be housed here. You can see the chairs, the desk, a lot of the file cabinets were from the old building. And then with all the materials used to build out this space, came from a radius of about 500 miles to eliminate a lot of the carbon footprint that gets associated with transporting materials. Another great feature we've got going here is the carpeting. As you can see, we didn't have a lot of carpeting due to the fact that dyes and the glue are pretty harmful for the environment. But as you can see, these ones are panels that we had donated and we put them together ourselves so you can customize the space, you can make it larger carpeted area, you can take away squares. It's really cool that you can just kind of pick them up and put them back together. I think this is something that can be applied to your rental apartment or to your giant house. Uh, so many great ideas, tools, tips and tricks that LPA is associated with the building and the design here and we're really excited to be able to share them with the public. They were great as far as being able to take our mission and our vision and bring it into a space that had such an amazing design and really worked with what we wanted to convey to the public and very easy to work with. You know, they were able to come up with ideas if we were hitting a roadblock, they were there and we really appreciate all that LPA has done for us.